Hey everybody, it's the Walker. So what are we doing today? Well, we're in the woods. It's raining bad out. I mean, real bad out. And it's November. Late November, like almost at the end. It'll be December in just a few days. We have here my sleep, my, my bedroll, you know, with Gore-Tex Bibby. And you know, it's, it's all nice, but one problem. I'm in my street clothes, right? That could be a problem. Because, well, <laughs> you know, it may, it's, I don't know, maybe 55 out. That's pretty cold rain out there. In November, going into December in New England, this could get ugly fast. So what do I do? One, obviously in the normal world of outdoorsmen, you wouldn't go out in jeans or in a cotton collared shirt. You just, you know, cotton socks the whole nine yards. Yeah, cotton can actually suck. I know there's internet experts out there. I'm not an expert at anything, but I'm just telling you from my experience, cotton doesn't kill, it's a misnomer. We're talking about certain conditions and certain cotton garments. I mean, you know, in these conditions, it is an absolute killer. Okay, so what are we gonna do? Well, I was thinking about this for a while, and this is a Tyvek suit. This particular one's got a little hood and a little Tyvek um, booties. I do seal coating work in the summer, and sometimes I wear a Tyvek suit of operating the sprayer. So I got to thinking, wouldn't this be like a good survival item? I mean, you're between $9 and $14, depending upon if you get the extra special one with the hood and the booties. I mean, Tyvek, it's breathes. Um, assuming if it's not winter, I think you might have a little contrast with the environment if you want to be found. And it's pretty water, water resistant, waterproof. So you got breathable material that can shed water. I, I, you know, I thought it might be a good survival item, so I figured, I'd better test this before I actually do it. Another thing we're gonna do is we're gonna see how the size goes. Now, I got the extra, extra large. Why? Because I'm big. But more importantly, I believe when it comes to outdoor garments, bigger is better. You don't want anything like constricting you, you know, that Under Armour Spider-Man thing. I, I, it just, I don't know. It just seems like it, the restriction causes more chances for just, it just, you just get cold. It's just my experience, tight boots, tight garments, just doesn't, it seems to reduce the, the uh, loft or, I don't know the reason, but I, I think bigger is better. So I could fit into extra large, but I got the extra, extra large. Let's see what we got. Um, well, it says DuPont Tyvek. That's a good sign. Of course they're gonna be keeping the sticker on for the whole thing, right? All right, looks kind of nice. We have, um, it looks like it got a little thing for booties here. Mm, these little booties might worry me a little bit though. I mean, are they gonna fit my, my um, are they gonna fit these? I don't know. I guess if I had to in field conditions where they wouldn't fit like large winter boots, I can just cut it, right? All right, let's see what else they have. We've got a hood. All right, so we have a hood. Now, let's try to get this thing on, right? Wait, I think we have here is a, Oh, it's got a little zipper too. Uh, DuPont tie that. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna get this thing on. I don't think it'd be that difficult. Yeah. You know something I'm thinking with these booties, rather than putting, there we are, they got the booty on like this. I think with these booties, rather than putting my shoes like over my shoes, why not use them as a sock inside my shoes, right? I think that would be a great idea. All right, let's see what we got going here. Okay. By the way, these are available at Home Depot. That's where I got mine. Hey. Oh, man. All right. You know, um, 
Man, I got good feelings about this. I got really good feelings about this. Now, I'm not talking like, you know, this is your, like, your main outerwear, you know, or anything like that. I'm thinking backup emergency hiking or day pack thing. All right, so it's on. But of course, you know, what's under this tarp going to do for us? It's going to do absolutely nothing, right? So I think what we need to do is we need to venture out. Wait, there we go. Oops. I got to loosen up these things a little bit here. Hey, it fits. Look at that. All right. That is cool. I think what we need to do is we got to venture out into those woods. And what I'm thinking is we're going to attempt to do a ferro rod fire. There's a shelter right there. So we need to find uh, some birch bark. I'm feeling all right about this, actually. The shoes don't feel bad at all, either. Um, I got plenty of room in the suit. Extra, extra large was the way to go for me, I guess. We need birch bark, and we need fluffy birch bark. If we have any chance of... Um, getting out to work and here's our tinder bag next time i'm going to tear the bag from the top not from the um side because that's you gotta use what you gotta use right now any now if anything gets wet jeans and a cotton collared shirt that that should be the ultimate like talking cotton socks cotton jeans and a cotton collared shirt so that should be the ultimate in getting wet Okay, um, I'm going to go find, hold on, hey, what do you got here? Look at this. Ordinarily, these are good tinder, but you know something? They're soaking wet. This isn't going to do me any good. Let's find, let's find some birch bark, and we're going to have to take a little bit of a hike to find ourselves some fluffy birch bark. Feeling pretty good about this so far. Man, we got some we got some floody waters here. Um, now, look at that. ourselves that um, I guess we'll find ourselves that uh, birch bark that we need. Whoop! <laughs> ah, that's a muck there, huh? All right. And we'll see. Um, See what else we got here. I'm feeling okay. I mean, um, my feet do feel wet because they're underwater, but I'm not cold. And um, the rest of me doesn't feel that wet. So we'll keep looking for. Wait, whoa, what do we got here? Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. That's the good stuff. Soaking wet, though. Soaking wet. Soaking wet. Very, 
very wet. All right, we have enough. We have enough birch bark. There's no question. It's time to head up. Um, we're gonna have to get some wood. Get this fire going. We'll go back to camp. Man, it's pretty steep. Tyvek's doing good. Um. camp here. I better clear out all the all the uh, leaves because I don't want the woods to catch on fire. Right, right. Looks good. The more I can find, the better. All right, we'll give this, we'll give this, all right, we'll give this a try. I don't think it's gonna light at all. It's soaking wet. We'll give it, we'll give it a go. Too wet, too wet. You can try later, but not right now. And we are back. The firecraft um, didn't quite work out, but that's not our primary test. I don't always, always, always get a fire. Boy, I tell you, a knife would have been <laughs> would have been really handy to have, but it is what it is. So how, how do I feel about the Tyvek though? That's what we're out here testing. I don't feel that bad, but the real proof is in the pudding. I mean, how does it gonna look underneath with my cotton clothing? Now, as you know, I woof through the water, pouring rain, going across the um, flooded stream. 
Well, actually, the feeder broke into a river, but it was still flooded. Water was right up to there. There we are. I'm feeling pretty good, actually. Not feeling bad at all. I'm like way dirtier. I mean, but let's see. How do I look in this cotton clothing? You know, I'm looking good. I'm looking good. Okay, um, here's the jeans. And the wind's picking up too. I tell you, this worked great, great as a windbreak. I mean, that it was fantastic. Wind, didn't even feel it. So it's a great, great windbreak. And that alone, that alone could save your life. Okay, a little moisture right here. Dry here. A little moisture where I walked across the river there. So dry, 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 dry. This is from the wet socks, which I know are wet. Socks are wet. And the reason, look at this Tyvek suit off. The reason is, this is not waders, okay? So when I walked through that flooded water up to here, that meant that the cotton wicked that from my socks up to here. But anywhere else that, that couldn't get exposed to being wicked, I'm pretty good. I'm in pretty good shape. And I was, I was pretty warm. Um, I'll call this a major, major win. Uh, the only thing I wouldn't recommend doing with it, it's not waders. So don't go across like rivers, brooks, or things like that if you can avoid it. Especially if we're in cotton clothing. If I was wearing synthetic clothing, it wouldn't be a big deal at all because the water would never have wicked up my pants up to there. Wouldn't have happened. But with cotton, like that. But I felt warm. Um, reasonably dry. This shirt is a little water wet, wet here. Dry, 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 dry. And that firecraft, although I failed to do the firecraft, I was all over those woods. I mean, I was working that woods hard, going through the brush, kneeling, doing pretty much everything I could to get wet. And I felt good, so I'm adding, I'm definitely going to add a um, Tyvek suit, the full one, with the booties to my gear kit. Um, it was really, really good. The only thing I wouldn't do is I wouldn't um, use it as waders. That's it. Other than that, though, I, this is a really, and it was a fantastic windbreak. And the weight, absolutely nothing. And it was tough enough to handle some good woods romping. So I'm adding this to my kit. Well, I'm going to get another one. This is all messed up and wet and dirty. I'm going to get another one and um, definitely put this in my gear. I might throw one in my bob. I mean, sure, I'm as visible as hell if it's um, any other time other than winter, but who cares? And sometimes being seen is the best thing. Okay, um, that's all for today. So if you like what you've seen, give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And y'all have a great evening.